hi everyone welcome to my channel and in this video uh, again i'll uh, share one uh, thing with you like one experience that was happened yesterday i was taking an interview and i found one proxy candidate like last time also i uh, found one proxy candidate last one month back so that proxy candidate i was unable to understand that he was a proxy candidate and then i have selected the candidate but my client uh, within 30 minutes they realize this is a proxy candidate by may have they may have a system or they have gone through the video and then they intimate me so regarding the same but this time for this candidate the cv i'm showing you uh, i can easily uh, like you know figure out that he is a proxy candidate so i'll tell you what has happened so i have started the interview i have this cv uh, purposefully i have deleted his name and his email address and phone number just to hide his identity so this guy has uh, 2.11 years of experience in asp.net mbc uh, entity framework and web api and angular 8 which is a very good profile considerably like you know having three years experience and he has already worked all uh, all like you know top-notch technologies which are expected in uh, full stack development in dotnet so this is considered really a very good profile so i was very happy to interview him and uh, if you see his cv he worked on like uh, git and tfs so git is pretty new so if you know git then that's a plus and he also having experience in bootstrap jquery angular 8 and dotnet core so again dotnet core is a plus and then he is told about his client and they had they he have done some other project also there also he uh, did in uh, sp.net msc with entity framework so which is pretty good and during the interview he told he also have experience in blazor so that is also a very uh, niche technology or new thing that dotnet has introduced and he is working currently in capgemini so uh, this is about his cv so the first point that i feel is suspicious he was holding his mic uh, like you know he was wearing a mobile <laughs> headset and wearing his mic and like holding his mic in front of his mouth so he is covering up his lips by his uh, like you know left hand so I told him to uh, release the like you know mic uh, so that I mean we can have a uh, good conversation. So he agreed and by the time he agreed I realized uh, his you know uh, voice is coming little late. So there is one more trick that he played. He was he was uh, I think uh, possibly logging from uh, using mobile hotspot. So mobile hotspot anyway it has some delay sometimes but with that accent that accent he is speaking it's kind of a fake accent he is trying to pretend to be a american accent that he is having and he's uh, like you know gesture or he's uh, like you know movement or something is not usual so while he is speaking i mean he is not speaking the proxy is speaking from the behind he's like you know for all his answer he is using two hands his mouth his uh, chin to express his answer normally we don't like if it is very difficult uh, question to ask that times up maybe we sometimes we use our hand to express our answer right but for all the answers uh, he's pretending that he is trying to answer the question so i i realized within say two three minutes but uh, i was little skeptical and uh, continued the interview because as per the interview rule the interview should be completed after that only i can uh, give the feedback not to that candidate but to our clients so it is not i mean if it is confirmed then i can terminate the interview in between but i can also continue so that at least if he is not a, a fake like fake or proxy candidate his uh, profile would be further evaluated that there will be a chance so things are like uh, going well so i was asking a question related to dotnet initially uh, from object oriented programming and others so he is very good at theory the proxy was very good i mean he is very good at theory he was explaining a lot of stuff he actually forgets that you know he has 2.1 years so i was repeatedly asking some question which is not answered or not known by a candidate who has 2.1 years experience so i asked some question from design pattern i asked some question from content negotiator in uh, in web api i asked some i have some difficult question from uh, .NET middleware, Crustel server, 
and so on and so forth and he was able to answer fluently so he actually forgot that he has only 2.11 years experience and normally with that experience nobody asks those difficult questions even i moved to sql and start, start asking him whether he have done any performance joining like hash join merge join or loop join that he also trying to answer so i was co pretty confirmed and then what i did basically i have given a small coding test that is the first uh, Thing that I've given and even before that he explained generic non generic collection list stack queue everything he have explained uh, use of dictionary so I have given him a small coding exercise so during the coding exercise uh, I have taken a small video of this guy uh, and you cannot see his face so I just I just play play this video so he took almost uh, six minutes to write a small code after that let's see when I mean, he don't know .NET so after that he told like my browser is refreshed my code has gone so I cannot share the code with you so this is the guy Those who are interviewed just uh, check how a proxy candidate looks like. So this is a four minute video. So I will just uh, do some like do some fast forward and. Okay, so he was not even replying because uh, the proxy doesn't know whether his friend or his customer has like, you know, written the code. Okay, so that was, uh, that was the like, you know, end and I have informed my, after the interview, I have, I mean, I didn't directly told him, but I have given some hints. Uh, I was asking pretty difficult question so that his proxy also understood like you know interviewer uh, caught him so after the interview uh, i just uh, do one thing i just uh, went through his linkedin profile and just check his linkedin profile i have taken a small screenshot here so in in his linkedin profile his company is real his name is genuine he lives to Bang bangalore and his uh, others like information is genuine but in linkedin profile he have written that he is offering 2.11 years experience so which is fine but he has experience in aws git github ansible jenkins maven basic jira remedy docker kubernetes asp.net shishap selenium api testing and sql so this profile is a devops profile and what he is trying here he said 2.11 years of experience in ASP.NET web development in UI MVC architecture, .NET entity framework technology, web web API. So this is completely different. I mean, how are DevOps? Why are Dev I'm not sure why a DevOps candidate is pretending to be a developer. Even I'm not sure whether he faked it here or not. If you if you have this profile, you could get a double package what a ASP.NET uh, developer gets, right? Because this there is ASP like you know DevOps, uh, cloud technologies, uh, blockchain. Uh, AI, machine learning, those are very niche technology, even Pega also. So if you are having 2.11, you can ask for a lot of like hike if you are going from Capgemini. I'm not sure why he is trying to fake and trying to join as a developer and when he don't know anything about development. And here also I'm not sh not sure whether he just, you know, written those time. He just know that keywords that, that that might be the reason. But with the 2.11 years, learning aws then learning ansible uh, jenkins uh, maven will leave, leave it but this docker kubernetes uh, docker orchestration then selenium testing like it, this is a kind of you know uh, mess up like it's a devops 
then something with uh, profile with testing so i'm not sure what he what I mean, what the thing is doing but he is not doing right in his career so 2.11 he is just junior i hope somebody else like somebody possibly his proxy friend who is very good at i would definitely say very good at like you know .net he can guide him possibly he should guide him basically so that is it uh, from my side i hope you uh, like got some input from here and if you are uh, taking interview do some due diligence uh, i would rather recommend it like if you are taking a profile uh, you possibly use uh, linkedin on some other social media just before uh, taking the interview though it is not uh, ethical i would say in terms of uh, interviewing like you know before that you just do a due diligence but make sure like you choose a right candidate and just be sure like this time since we are taking online interview many people are uh, trying to have use proxy or support or searching with other device for the answer so that is it uh, keep watching for the next video